gets it done by Vanova. Uh, there once again, it's going to be making it 10 on 7 of 3 for Agdev. It's 2 minutes, 45 seconds left. Deb beats wanting to just turn it right back around, but here... He's gotten the frag, he's gotten mega health, but now... Yes, it's only two frags, and the way this match has been going, that is extremely nothing. He just needs to be able to get the damage done and get the finisher in. And chasing here could be robbing him of that. It's going to come down to movement, and actually, I gotta say, here... In Warsaw, Deadbeat might have the advantage when it comes to movement. He's more of a movement-minded kind of guy. He's big into defrag. And so if it comes down to an actual chasing map like this, Deadbeat might actually have something going for him there. Uh, Vanova didn't have a lot of defensive rockets at that point, so Deadbeat was able to waltz all over her. But now with one frag between them, Vanova's going to be sitting on top of Mega Health. Eating a bit of damage, staying up there maybe a little bit too long. Yeah, exactly, just too long. And Debbie was able to chase her down with the LG. And there's the one frag lead there. Vanova's calling GG here, but I'm thinking, nah, that, that's a Gills thing right there because, well, we've seen this turnaround so much, so I'm wondering why one or two frags is such a big deal to her. I mean,. We've seen this turn around a whole lot, and Debbie is actually down at 23 health right now. Right now, Debbie is in dire, dire straits. He can jump out of there, but that was enough time for Vanova to drop down, get on his ass, and bring it up. Ah, uh, shit. Net, oh, mother. Okay, so Vanova falls in the lava, making it 13 to 10 with 1 minute 15 seconds left. If Debbie nails in this rail, that's gonna be <laughs> Debbie. It's Deadbeat. I could just call him Scott if that would help the confusion, but... Uh, actually, there's still enough time for Vanova to bring this one back in. Deadbeat has been just going for the red armor, but he's been hanging out there a little bit too long, so Vanova should have a solid... Ooh, Vanova should have a solid stack here. Deadbeat does get in the initial damage, and with 13 health and 45 seconds, that's 14 on 10, so I think at this point, Deadbeat could essentially slow spawn this. Vanova could get a frag here. Yeah, she will be. But three frags in 30 seconds with that turnaround, that is going to be the definitive. Now it's time to call GG Vanova. So Vanova, after two wins, is going to be finally eating the dirt here at the hands of Deadbeat. But I got to say, really close, intense match between the two for the entirety of it. It only really started to expand into Deadbeat's favor in the last minute or so. And even then, it was still quite tenuous. So 10 seconds left. Deadbeat will be moving forward. And there we have it here on WDM20. G fucking G. Take it out, Marcus. Game over. So yeah, um, I love you, Vanova. Like a lot, but let me count the number of lava places in this map. I think there's... One. So right here was where Vanova made her last wishes four times during the match. Ouch. That sucks. And it's covered too. Look at that. <laughs> but seriously, guys, really great game, really close stuff. And we only saw that, it, again, expanded to Deadbeat's favor in the last minute. But we're going to be... Maybe seeing one player missing, we're looking for Hart. And I have not seen him. Hart didn't want to play. Thought it was DA or something. <laughs> okay. So Sanctify is up. And he's going to be hopping in here. Second BTF member tonight. And it will be BTF on BTF. Deadbeat versus Sanctify coming right on in. Soon. In the meantime, enjoy some Chemical Brothers while I sip my coffee. Hey, Ravager, dude! Welcome to the Tasty Cast channel. If you've been here before, I gotta say I, I didn't notice, but now I do notice. Uh, always good to have you in here with your bot-like abilities. So good to see you, bro. So where's Sink? Come on, dude. Sanctify. Come on down. Where is he? Son, bitch. 
All right. It looks like Inane is going to be coming in. Inane is up, and he is in the server? No? Where's Inane? Player GTFO. Unless player is Inane or Sanctify. Where is everybody? Inane, Sanctify, guys, it's your turn. Come on. <laughs> what was that bit looking for? You said, oh, here it is. <laughs> Alright, so where is Inane? Okay, Inane is on his way to square himself, so we can be patient for him. <laughs> and I gotta say, I'm pretty happy about some of the developments this week. Uh, we've been seeing some of the talk about Tasty's Queen tournaments actually coming uh, to a head, and actually because of that, I will be talking to the Jazz Jackrabbit guys. I love being able to say that with all seriousness. I'm going to talk to the competitive Jazz Jackrabbit 2 players. Ugh, oh, that is so cool to be able to say. But, uh, <laughs> I'm going to talk to them about getting the ladder system set up, and I think some players from the community have been talking to Railwolf, and Railwolf and those players have gotten the conversation started about getting thi these things started, so... Woo! There we have Inane. He will be joining up. Well, he is joined up, and we will be going over to Acid WDM2. Here we are on Acid WDM2, the map that automatically turns on Pikmin for me, but I like it. It's got pretty colors. Alright, for those of you not familiar, this is a single atrium map, and what that means is that there's one central area, area that really connects all of them. Red armor is here, accessible from two platforms, but shootable from a variety of places. Uh, Deadbeat, where'd he go? Is he having... Oh, fuck me. There he is. So he better be, like, in here. Like, okay, right? Jeez. Jeez. Okay, but also on the other end here, we have this Mega Health, and this Mega Health is actually makes for some pretty interesting play. That teleporter goes straight from the bottom to the top here, and that also gives the ability to jump over here. So a lot of interesting fights can happen there. Yellow armor on this end, and we're gonna see this thing go down! Get on down. You but we're going to be seeing Inane here off the start here, grabbing rocket launcher and strock, strong, strock it ammo. Strock it. Whoa, I feel like I'm playing enemy territory Quake Wars again. But, strock it. But there's Mega Health for Inane choosing his poison and actually choosing Mega Health and Yellow Armor while Deadbeat will be having the Red Armor as well here. So first fight's going to be happening. Inane a little low on rockets now, but he's gotten a lot of damage done. Still has plenty of health left off of that Mega. Low on armor, though, but Deadbeat is shut down. Only 63 health, though, left for Inane after that fight. So Deadbeat's going to be fairly strong here, and he's going to tie it back up one-to-one. -one. And I just d absolutely love how in Warsaw, uh, just those situations where depending on the aggressiveness of your opponent, uh, if you're fairly low on stack after frag, you can get taken down fairly quickly. Two on one here, Inane does get the second frag, and actually that was the first frag where the opposing player was able to get away without taking a whole lot of damage, so Inane now has a tentative grip here on the map, and there's going to be a third frag. Now he's two up, just barely one minute in here, and that's Acid WDM2 for you. It's going to be fast, it's going to be furious, there's going to be no...